How are you doing? This is Puck. Today we are here with the Packard Bell tablet. It's the G100. It's a tablet that I got kind of cheap because of the cracked glass. But in fact, it's a pretty good thing. I thought it had 3G, but it was not a 3G, uh, uh, how you call it, slot. It was in fact uh, a micro SD slot. I didn't look too good. Um, so we uh, are up the, uh, at this moment copying the update SIP to this card here. It's a little SD card. And um, in fact, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy uh, the file to the root of the SD card. That means we're gonna just copy it to the SD card. The SD card must be formatted with a FAT32 partition and make sure that you then copy the update zip link will be in the description so check it out download the update zip and uh, put it on the root of your sd card and then we're gonna boot up the tablet with the update and if everything goes right the tablet should recognize this update it's a kind of same update as with the argos tablet so let's see how we're gonna do that Okay, what I'm in fact doing now, um, I'm copying the update zip yeah, to, um, to the SD card that I inserted in this adapter. This is a little adapter as you can see and it's about the little card in the adapter. That one is getting this update file now and then uh, soon we're gonna upgrade this tablet from gingerbread that is kind of really old and outdated to uh, ICS 402 also kind of outdated but at least we can then root it and do even more crazy things with it remember that this tablet is using the same firmware as the Acer Econia 500 so in fact they are both the same tablets but they just have different names I guess so we'll have to see how this will go of course you also want to make sure that the thing is kind of full the battery and the thing that you just heard that was uh, the sign that my file was copied to the little SD card we're gonna pop it in here this we can kind of lift up in some way like this and then the card goes there with the logo showing to you and I don't see no 3G SIM card connection so what I did now I put the card in the tablet is it saying anything that it found the card don't even know so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna turn off the tablet then we say we want to turn off okay now we're gonna start up with um, let me see which one is the minus I think the top one is minus so we're gonna press we're gonna press the the top one the volume down minus so we press the volume volume up and then we let go and then booting recovery terminal and there we go baby we're upgrading we're upgrading gingerbread now to ICS this is all happening on this tablet here it's in fact uh, yeah Packard Bell tablet but it's now installing firmware of the Acer Econia 500 and uh, this is the process I'm gonna show it in real time so you can kind of see it let's just hope that the little Android won't die because that could also happen but you can see it's a very nice uh, Android and for those having this tablet, also for my Dutch people, say that this tablet nog hebben, uh, als je hem ook op uh, gingerbread nog hebt draaien, 
dit is de manier hoe je hem kunt updaten naar, uh, naar ICS, sowieso naar uh, Android 4. Dan heb je wat meer speelmogelijkheden en uiteraard als hij dan op Android 4 is, kunnen we hem ook gaan routen. En kunnen wij dan uh, uiteraard van alles doen. What I was saying is, if we are on Android 4.02 when this is done, then we can also go ahead and root it. Of course, I will not do that in this video. Uh, in this video, we just gonna do the upgrade and we gonna keep uh, the routing for another video because it's kinda a little bit uh, advanced the routing of this device, but we can handle and we will do it. And as we can see here, we're almost there, peeps. Just a little piece more to go. And we just installed ice cream candy. So let's see how this baby will boot up. And there we go. Boop. <laughs> you see that? Now this thing became an Acer. <laughs> this is Acer firmware. We just made the Acer of uh, a Packard Bell. This video we can call it How to make an Acer tablet from a Packard Bell. You know? So the boot logo is not good. But when I root this thing, I will give it my own boot logo. So... That is not such a big problem, right? I mean, we should be happy that we could already upgrade to a higher build of Android here. It's installing the apps, peeps. And of course, all credits goes out to uh, my X developers out there. Yep, yep, yep. But uh, the file was not on your site anymore. Eh? I had to find the file completely somewhere else. So, um, yeah. That's where I got the file, so I will host this file on my Mediafire because if I won't do that, the file will disappear because it's also on some site that after 30 days nobody downloads this thing, you know, it will disappear. So I will have to put this in my laboratory so, you know, we in the future and people that get old tablets that at least, you know, in the description of this video you can get uh, at least the drivers and the firmware for this tablet to date it up if you're also still on gingerbread because that is in fact kind of uh, old and also a pity you know to be on gingerbread because gingerbread is you know it was good one day but now it's not so so safe anymore to use you know there you go, baby. Look at that. Wow, we did it. Is the touch screen working? Of course the touch screen is working. Look at that. We didn't lose any file. My team is still the same. Um, I hope that I got rid of some crazy. No, everything is still there. So let's take a look. What am I on? Um, yeah, this is a kind of Windows. Uh, eight team so this is not windows 8 guys don't get confused we go to pc settings it really kind of works like there you go model acer a500 and android version 4 or what was it or one or two 403 I don't know if you can read it you see that so in fact this is the official way how to you know upgrade the Packard Bell G100 tablet <laughs> it will become a Acer but that is the only way you know this is really the only way how you can get 403 on this thing you know and that everything will work because I also want all the benefits of um of you know this tablet of this android version i'm gonna erase everything on this tablet and i'm just gonna let it you know install it the way you know it should i should get it you know the way i should you know see it uh, including the 
original home screen of the ICS so that's what we're gonna get now I just got rid of the Windows uh, thing so we're gonna give it the original Android screen and maybe we can also give it uh, yeah some well, some uh, iOS uh, theme just because it works really easy but uh, what we're now doing is in fact we're doing a clean install of uh, the Android that we just installed the 403 and uh, we also removed everything on the drive meaning that we're gonna get a complete clean uh, setup of this tablet and uh, here you can see Acer is booting up this is not the Acer <laughs> this is uh, for real it's a H of what is it a Packard Bell here you can see it but uh, the ROM you know is the boss so if the ROM says hey this thing is an Acer then it's an Acer but it could be anything real time boot and I find uh, I find it still cool that you know we can do this because in fact um, yeah having the tablet on 3.2 was not much fun I can tell you um, I could watch films and I could you know do certain things but still uh, I need to root the tablet because I want to get rid of certain apps that are you know just being useless on there and that I don't need like stupid games and 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 all sorts of rubbish that I cannot remove the normal way you know because in fact if I uh, create the Android device I remove everything that I can remove especially the things that I could not remove that came with the tablet that I could not remove you know such as apps and uh, strange uh, little things starting up Samsung apps and crazy things like that you know uh, select country we are in oh this is also very nice eh? this setup is very very nice you see that peeps we are in the Netherlands language will be English we will skip this for now this is Trebel I don't like this next I don't need this configuration completed I don't want this don't you ever remind me there you go peeps and this is it this is the the home screen this is how it looks yes come on baby and we had market you know uh, but now we immediately have play store you see that so and in fact we still have these silly games they're still installed so I will only be able to remove them if I root this tablet but anyway peeps this was it for now um, yeah let's go back to the studio and all credits goes out to my friends of Acer so Acer you know how it is thumbs up there peeps if you think this video was kind of helpful give the video a like subscribe to my channel if you did not already and then I love to see you in my next video again so let me put this thing in the tablet so I want to thank you uh, again for watching love to see you in my next video and stay tight out there